Saudi Aramco. Um, the, the Crown Prince, His Royal Highness, was talking about this deal being very important to funding all of this. Will Saudi Aramco go public in the United States? So Saudi Aramco will go public, uh, that's for sure. Uh, it will go public in the local market, Tadawul, that's for sure. We have not decided yet where is it going to list if we are going with a dual listing, whether it is in New York, London, Hong Kong, or uh, other places. Is, is one of the issues the potential for lawsuits from perhaps 9-11 victims? I will not really comment on specifics, but we are, we are trying to examine all options and, and carry a detailed due diligence, uh, as you would appreciate. This is the largest company in the world. It means a lot for our country. It is more than half of our GDP, so we wanted to be careful. I understand. Your Excellency, let me ask you about this pitch to U.S. investors. You've got investors watching right now, and we're seeing uh, this change in, in Saudi Arabia, but it comes uh, right after this anti-corruption crackdown in the kingdom where you had all of these ministers jailed. You and, and, and His Royal Highness, uh, are, are, are you reassuring investors about that corruption crackdown? How should we view that what just took place in the country I think what took place is a very clear message that we have zero tolerance to corruption and it is really a very comprehensive framework this is one part of it but the rest of it is we are creating a level playing field to investors so investors should be welcoming the actions that are being taken by the government we have a new procurement law that uh, is more transparent that provide a lot of, a lot more information to uh, investors we are putting a detailed portal for the government, uh, which is called Atimad, that takes uh, basically contractors and vendors from uh, the bidding process until they are paid. So there is significant transparency there. So basically the message is we are creating a level playing field. We have seen that in the foreign investment in our capital market. It had dipped uh, early November uh, following the events, but then it picked up and now it's in the highest uh, history-wise. What's the sales pitch for U.S. investors to, to go and invest in Saudi Arabia? We are open for business. We are making uh, doing business a lot easier than what, what it was before. There is a lot of opportunities in the Vision 2030 that we think are uh, available for U.S. Uh, companies, financial sector, mining sector, entertainment, and others. So there is a lot of opportunities, and we believe that risk and reward provides great opportunities. And it's interesting that His Royal Highness is meeting with media and telecom executives as well, the Crown Prince meeting with folks at Apple, etc. What do you want to see in terms of media in, in the kingdom? What we are doing basically is we are saying there is a lot of new sectors that can be opened. There is uh, a lot of opportunities that will generate not only a return on investment for the, the investors, but also mutually it will generate jobs for our youth. Your Excellency, this is extraordinary what you're doing. Uh, best wishes and we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you so much.